ask him. Today, Friday the 13th, we find ourselves in the lab preparing for our final lab practical. Today's model we're working on is the ovary model. When working on this model, you might want to turn to page 1041 in your textbook. There's a very nice picture in the book of this model, and it also explains everything that's going on here. We will follow the lab manual on page 20. Please note there, there have been a few discrepancies, so please check with your professor as to the correct terminology to use for yours. Okay, we start with number one. Number one is tagged here. This is the mesovarium. Mesovarium. It's part of the broad ligament. Mesovarium, number one. Number two is the germinal epithelium. Germinal epithelium are these pink dots with blue nucleus right here they go all the way around it could be tagged anywhere number two germinal epithelium number three is the peritoneal epithelium the three is tagged here but it could be marked anywhere in the covering peritoneal epithelium number four is the tunica albuginea Tunica albuginea. It's this very light pink layer just below the germinal epithelium. The cortical zone would be like the cortex, be found here around the primary follicles, the cortical zone. Number six is tagged here. It's the pulp zone or the medulla. Cortical zone medulla or pulp zone. Number seven is here. These are the blood vessels, but they could be tagged here, 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 anywhere. But the number seven is right here. Those are the blood vessels. Eight is tagged here, and that is the smooth muscle. So you're gonna look for the red lines here with the nucleus, and that is the smooth muscle tissue. Number nine is the primary follicle. Primary follicle found in the cortical zone. Primary follicle. Number 10 is tagged here. That's the follicle epithelium of the primary follicle. Primary follicle, it's the follicle epithelium, number 10. Number 11, is the secondary developing follicle. Ten, secondary or developing follicle. Number 12 is the atriatic follicle or disintegrating. Atriatic follicle, number 12. Number 13 is tagged here, inside. 13 is the developing follicle with liquor folliculi. Follicular fluid is inside. Again, that's number 13, the developing follicle with liquor folliculi, in parentheses, follicular fluid inside. We'll get back to this later. Number 14 is the developing follicle with the secondary oocyte or the yellow ball inside. That's number 14, the developing follicle with the secondary oocyte, the yellow ball inside. Number 16 is the cross section of a follicle shortly after ovulation. This is the corpus rubrum, corpus rubrum. Again, that's number 16, the cross section of a follicle shortly after ovulation, corpus rubrum. 17 is the germ hill that holds the oocyte, the germ hill. 
number 17. The number 18 is the corona radiata or the zona radiata and it radiates out. And if you look at your book, there's a good picture of it again on page 1041. The corona radiata, it radiates away from the oocyte. And then again, number 20. is inside. It's tagged right here, number 20, above the germ hill. Okay. The antrum is not numbered. It is the cavity in the follicles. Any follicle that contains a cavity is a mature or graphian follicle. Now 21, the zona pellucida is tagged inside here. The zona pellucida, it's a thin white line and it's clear, lucid. Zona pellucida number 21. Number 22 is the theca folliculi externa. 22. Theca folliculi interna. It's this gray line right here. Number 23 is the theca folliculi externa. It's the red or reddish brown layer just outside of it, 23. Now 24, we come back over to the model. This is the corpus redrum, rebrum, R-U-B-R-U-M, rubrum, corpus rubrum, number 24. Number 25 is the corpus luteum, this big yellow mass, number 25. Again, 25, corpus luteum, followed up by number 26, corpus albicans, or think of albino, white, corpus albicans. The ovarian artery and vein plexus run here. They're number 27. Ovarian artery and vein plexus. Now we'll come back over here to number 28. 28 on this half of the follicle is normal and is in the developing stage. 28 normal and developing stage. Normal and numbers, think of that to help you remember it. Number 29 is the other half. This follicle has been altered due to the pill. So there, it's not normal, there are no numbers. 29. And that is the ovary model.